Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene, and today's video is Makeup Bag Monday, week number 32. Yes, 32 weeks of Makeup Bag Monday, which is a weekly makeup bag review and rotation. Every week, I pick out products to test out for a full week, usually of new beauty products and some of my favorites from my makeup collection that I wanna rotate through or kind of forgot about and need to rotate and use up or decide whether or not I'm going to purge it from my makeup collection. So you guys seem to really enjoy this series. Every time I think about like not doing it, you guys are always like, no, we love it. So let's go into what my thoughts are from last week's makeup bag. Let's just start with the first thing. This is the Too Faced Natural Love Eyeshadow Palette. And you guys, I have to be honest, I didn't really like it. Now, this breaks my heart because I didn't really like those prismatic highlights from last week either, which was part of this spring launch. And here's the thing, these eyeshadows, the pigmentation is the typical Too Faced pigmentation, which is decent quality, you get a good color payoff, they're formulated pretty equally, you are getting a good value for the amount of shadows and the collection of shadows are pretty good. The reason I didn't really like it is because I wasn't very inspired by this palette. I feel like Too Faced usually comes out with such amazing eyeshadow palettes like the Too Faced Chocolate Bars are some of my favorites. The Sweet Peach Palette is by far one of my current favorites from them. And then they have a bunch of beautiful smaller tins like the Peanut Butter and Jelly one, the um, Natural Mattes, and the Boudoir Eyes. Like They just have such great eyeshadow collections that I found this one a little bit uninspiring and lacking. Um, colors are beautiful. It's a warm, neutral eyeshadow palette. It is a perfect spring color scheme. Quality is good. I just don't really care for it because I feel like I have these already in some form or another in my makeup collection. The packaging is adorable, but it is cardboard. So again, it's I feel like it's just not something I'm going to reach for after this video. And to be completely honest, I'm most likely going to hand it off to someone who is going to enjoy it more than me. And that being said, if you absolutely love the eyeshadows and you don't already have something like this, then of course you will like it. But personally, I prefer the Too Faced Chocolate Bar and the Sweet Peach Palette and any of their little mini tins. FYI, my lips are actually going through an allergic reaction. I'm not wearing anything on my lips. If I look like I have bleeding lipstick or my lips look like I have injections or something, it is because I had an allergic reaction to some sort of product that I can't figure out what did it. And they were actually, there was a rash, they blistered, and now it's all dry and crusty and gross. So probably TMI, but I got some comments in my last video and people were saying my lipstick was smearing and nope, that was my lips. It kind of hurts, it's uncomfortable. It's what's happening. It's what happens when you try out a lot of stuff every week. <laughs> Next palette I was testing out for the week is the Laura Mercier Light Struck Highlighting Palette. And this one didn't really impress me either. I know, this sounds like kind of a negative video, but the creams are beautiful. The, sh the colors are beautiful. They're very dewy and light and just a hint of color and highlight but it was kind of hard for me to work with because of the colors. So this Reflect shade is like a bronzy golden, which I feel like would look really good if I was just going to the beach with no makeup and wanted to put this over my sunblock. But let's be honest, I don't really do that unless we're shooting photos. And then Aurora is a beautiful blush, but it's not blushy enough for a blush on its own, and I didn't like layering it over powders, and then I didn't like putting powders over it. So I love the color, but I had a hard time working with it. And then Ray and Beam and Prison were just not quite the right shades for me. The closest thing I did wear a lot was I would mix Ray and Prism together on my highlight points, but I didn't feel like it was enough of a highlight, and it wasn't glowy enough for me to have that look that I wanted for that no makeup highlight look. So I just, it wasn't my favorite from Laura Mercier. It's not bad, I just not my favorite. I feel like if you are super, super fair, you might enjoy this a little bit more. I currently have a little bit of a tan, which is making it hard for me to work with. And especially when you have like a yellow toned highlight, I can't wear those. And the silver one, I'm just kinda like, that's a little too much for me. 
So yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on that one as well. Something I did like is the Kula Face SPF 30 Mineral Sunscreen Unscented Matte Tint. This is their BB. I really enjoy this, and I think if you have really oily skin and don't like sunblock or the feel of it, you would really enjoy this sunblock for yourself. It is a little bit oily, even though it is supposed to be a matte, and it doesn't actually feel oily once you apply it, but you have to shake it up in the bottle and then apply it. So it has a really nice slip to it. It's very silky and it's a great underneath makeup. It's a great alone because it does control a little bit of that oil and greasy look that sunblock tends to give you. It's a tint, but I wouldn't say it's enough to kind of diminish anything. I feel like the tint is just so that you don't look like you have that ghost face or that white grayish look that you can have with a physical SPF because this is a physical SPF. I did like using it with no makeup and I liked using it under makeup as well. So I do highly recommend this for summertime. Foundation I was trying out for a full week, which I did a first impression review on, is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Cushion Foundation and I have the shade 260 Bisque N. I really do love this. This has an SPF 50. It's a physical SPF. It's full coverage, but it's not matte. It's really hard for me to find a full coverage foundation that doesn't dry out my skin or make my skin look dry. This makes my skin look really beautiful and natural, and it gives me full coverage. It gives me a good physical SPF of 50. My only thing about this, even though it says it's long lasting, I feel like after six hours, it starts to fall into my dry patches and starts looking a little bit worse for wear. So if you wanted something that lasted all day that's full coverage that's not matte, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this, but if you only need your makeup to last about six hours before you touch up or you plan on touching up anyways, plus if you're using it outside and you need to retouch up your SPF, then this would totally work for you. I still really enjoy this foundation. I just don't think it's long lasting on everybody, especially if you have drier skin. My skin just sucks up product because it's so dry and I think that's what's happening with this, but I do love the coverage. I love the finish and I love the shade. I also like the application and I like the ingredients in it in terms of the physical SPF. Oldie but a goodie, not that old, but a revisit because I just love it is the Revive Le Tint Moisturizing Veil. This is a oil, it's a tinted oil. So it's a skincare treatment that happens to offer a nice wash of color. I'm obsessed with this. I've talked about it a bunch. I had it in a Makeup Bag Monday previously. It's one of my favorite go-to's. I even use this instead of foundation and I feel good. Like I'll go to events with just this on my face and a little bit of concealer because it it just gives my skin this radiance. It lasts all day. It looks beautiful. And I also feel like it's doing good for my skin because it is infused with so much good skincare. So highly recommend it. It is a little bit pricier, but you are paying for the skincare benefits of it. And a little goes a long way. I use maybe two, three drops. And then if I want to build it up, maybe up to eight drops tops. Um, So I can't find this online where... I used to be able to find it on Ulta or Sephora, but it's not available anymore, so I don't know if they discontinued it, but this is the Benefit Play Stick Foundation, and I'm actually wearing the shade Jump Rope, which is a deeper shade, and I absolutely love this for contouring. It's the most beautiful cream contour or bronzy warming up of the face, and having this seamless blendability to it because it is a foundation, so I really enjoyed using this as like a warmth bronze contour product and it's just, it's really lovely so i hope they didn't discontinue it because it's just the right amount of creaminess and blendability but it sets nicely and you just set it with some powder cheek products i was playing with were from ilia and these are their multi sticks i love these this one is in the shade at last and this is my favorite go-to one for every day this is beautiful what i recommend if you're going to put this on your cheeks is warm up warm it up with your fingers by like putting it on your fingers and then patting it onto your cheeks. It blends a little bit easier. It doesn't move around your foundation and it just looks flawless. It's so pretty and it's very sheer so you can build it up or have that really nice sheer wash of color. I also played with a fine romance, a little bit too berry for me for spring summer, but definitely something I will revisit in the fall winter time. And then this one was just really fun. It's called cheek to cheek and this was more of a coral orange, really fun to play with on my less makeup days absolute favorite shade is at last so definitely recommend this one the mascaras i have been 
trying out for the last week are from Blink, and I have the Blink Black Lash Primer and also the Amplified Mascara. Now, these are tubing mascaras. I have recently discovered tubing mascaras and fallen in love. The first one was the Cogendo one, and these are amazing. So what tubing mascaras actually do is they actually encapsulate your lashes and then add volume and length to it. They last all day, like no joke, no smudging, no budging, no running, nothing, but they're so easy to remove, a lot more easy to remove than waterproof mascaras and a lot healthier for you. So all you have to do at night is take warm water, maybe a little bit of cleanser and massage your lashes gently and you will see that the tubes will just slip right off of your lashes. So it's just gentle massage with warm water, maybe a little bit of cleanser and it comes right off. I love, love, love these Blink Black Primer is one of my favorite primers I've tried ever because I'm not a huge fan of lash primers to begin with, but I love the comb. It reminds me of the Sisley Paris one, and it just does a nice job at grabbing my lashes and fanning them up and out and starting the whole like feathery effect. And then with the mascara Amplified, I do have to say it wears better later on. So give it two to three days worth of use before you really see and notice the difference. The first three days, it's doing something, but it's so gentle and so subtle that you don't notice it. But after the third day, you're like, oh wow, I can really start to build this up, get a lot of volume, get a lot of length. It's definitely worth the premium price for mascara. And of course, I was revisiting the Pacifica fragrance, Tahitian Gardenia. This reminds me of my mom. She loves gardenias. I love gardenias because of that, and it's just very fresh. Pacifica is a vegan, cruelty-free, affordable line that you can find at Target, Whole Foods, and some other retailers. So I really enjoyed this. I also like it because it doesn't give me a headache, and I think it's because it is using... Um, cleaner ingredients so it's not using as many synthetic fragrances that would typically like turn on me and cause a headache love this bottle it's quite affordable for a fragrance as well in this kind of a cruelty free clean range so that's everything i tested out last week and here are the products i'm going to be testing out this week the first thing is the new jouet springtime in paris eyeshadow palette i'm obsessed i'm wearing it today on my eyes it's really really beautiful it's a lot of neutrals but also some pops of springtime color. I love the packaging. It's very similar to the original Essential Shimmer and Mattes palette, which I love. And you've got the nice giant mirror, so perfect for travel, throwing in your makeup bag. I just love it. I'm gonna play with it for a full week and get back to you guys. Pigmentation is great. It's talc free. Thank you so much, Christina from Jouet. And if you guys wanna purchase anything from Jouet, the new spring collection launches April 4th, and I do have a discount code it's Serene 15 on everything you buy through jouetcosmetics.com, 15% off. It is an affiliate discount code, but you guys get 15% off, plus free shipping over $35, I believe. Next up, if you watch my recent Ulta haul, I picked up the new Lorac California Dreaming Cheek Palette, and the packaging is so pretty. Again, really perfect for spring. So you get a kind of shimmer, a uh, which is sunlight and then you get a wavelength which I feel like is a blush topper and then ray and golden hour so today I'm actually wearing ray and wavelength on my cheeks I like it it's very soft very blendable and very pigmented but I have to see how it wears for the full week so I'll be testing this out Working with cheeks I am also going to test out the by Terry glow expert duo stick this is in the shade Terra Rosa number two now this is supposed to be a highlight and a blush in one I'm going to test out a primer that I've never tested, but is like a cult favorite. It's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This one is the light version, so it's good for sensitive skin, acne prone skin. It's oil free and it's supposed to minimize pores and help your makeup last a little bit longer and go on smoother. The foundation I'm testing out is going to be the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light Stay in Place Makeup. This is supposed to be long wear and budge proof. I'm wearing it today. I did not like the Double Wear original because I felt like it was too heavy for my preferences and I do have dry skin so I felt like it clung on a couple areas of my skin so I thought the light would be fun to play with so far so good been loving how long it lasts and 
The shade is Intensity 1. Concealer I'm revisiting is from Too Faced. This is the Born This Way Concealer. I loved it when I first tried it out. I just thought it would be time to rotate it back into my makeup routine. So I have the shade Light for under my eyes. I'm revisiting the Jane Cosmetics Liquid Eyeliner in Black. I love this one. I forget how much I loved it and I wanted to pull it back out and kind of play with it again before it goes bad because you know liquid liners shouldn't you shouldn't keep them around too long because they're on your eye every day. The new highlight I'm going to be playing with is from Ofra Cosmetics, and this is the collaboration with Ofra Cosmetics and Nikki Tutorial. So this is Everglow Highlight. So excited. I've been wearing this on my cheeks. I've been wearing it in the inner corners of my eyes. I love Ofra Cosmetics highlights. I think they make beautiful highlights for a great price. And I do have a discount code for Ofra Cosmetics as well. It's 30% off, and it's just my first name, Serene. 30 on all Ofra Cosmetics purchases. Again, that is an affiliate discount code, but 30% off. Really love this. I love this for the eyes, this top shade. And I've been mixing the two for highlight, and then I've been using the lightest shade on the inner corner of my eyes. Super pigmented, super long lasting. I wanted to play with some new powders from Makeup Forever. These are the Ultra HD Compact micro finish pressed powders and they have three shades i pulled out two because i'm not quite sure which one i would be this is for medium skin tones and then this is for light skin tones so maybe the light under my eyes and the medium all over my face but i'm really excited to play with these makeup forever makes really high quality professional grade products so can't wait to try them out i have two more products from my recent ulta haul this is the physician's formula bronze booster not quite sure why i never purchased this i'm a huge fan of physician's formula bronzers so this is kind of their original one and I have light to medium I could probably go medium to dark but you know this one's a really nice warming up of my face without looking like I'm doing too much and then I have the powder palette mineral glow pearls in beige pearls so this is for medium skin tone actually and this is a very radiant powder it can look a little powdery but I just spray it down so I'm gonna play with it a little bit more the first layer is kind of a spray over so I don't know why they do that I'm not a big fan of that but once you wipe away the spray over it's really quite nice and the fragrance I picked to rotate into my routine for the next week is from Guerlain. This is their newest fragrance, Mon Guerlain. If you guys didn't know, I didn't know this, but Guerlain is one of the oldest uh, manufacturers of perfumes or fragrances. So that's really kind of exciting and historical. So I love the packaging. I love the scent. It reminds me of a really like sweet, spicy, sultry woman. So I thought I would play that with this for the upcoming week because I feel a little bit sassier, feel a little bit sexier, sultrier. I don't know. I like to dream. So that's what I'm going to be testing out for the next week. If you'd like to see swatches, demos, and my full review and opinions on these products, then make sure you check back next week for Makeup Bag Monday, week number 33. Don't forget, I upload four new videos every week, and I've been doing a ton of uploads over on my second channel, More Serene. I just did one of my first ever DIY denim jacket. I did floral embroidered my denim jacket, and I've been doing some cooking videos as well as some vlogs, shopping vlogs, and a huge unboxing video is coming up for you guys over on that channel where you see all the new products I got. It's huge. It's like 30 minutes of me unboxing PR packages. I know how much you guys love that. So all of my unboxing videos are over on my second channel. Make sure you go over there and subscribe so you don't miss any of it. And I always do new and beauty, which is more curated here on my main channel. If anything, I hope my videos help motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. I know when I feel and look my best, I am just a lot more capable at dealing with whatever life has to throw at me. And if that speaks to you, I'm really happy you found my channel. If anything, I just hope my videos helped you unwind, de-stress from your day, and take your mind off of whatever it was that you wanted to take your mind off of. I know YouTube was a huge help for me in that way and has continued to do so for me. I hope I was able to do that for you, and I hope you have a wonderful night and rest of your day. And I will see you guys back here on Wednesday for a Wednesday video, which will be my monthly favorites, and there's going to be a giveaway announcement there. Bye!